This is Oulu, a picturesque port city in the middle of Finland's west coast, where the Sokari UC restaurant serves up old-fashioned resupotu, a soup made with potatoes, onions, bacon, and big chunks of a food that Finns grew up eating as kids, blood cake. Mm. Just enough of that sort of like old Band-Aid taste to let you know you're eating blood. We had to eat it at the school, you know. Really? Yes, and we hated it. We all <laughs> hated it. <laughs> but so now we love it. Mm. And what's not to love? Especially when you see where the blood comes from. This tidy little factory outside of town where you'll find all the makings for a Finnish horror movie. There's Tapio and Vesa, and huge vats of blood. Viscous, hemoglobinous, cow's blood. Who's hungry? Every school kid will tell you that the best snack in the whole world is a fresh brownie, hot, straight from the oven. Well, in Finland, these brownies, they're made with cow's blood. Mmm. You're looking at a Finnish school kid's worst nightmare, livery, Irony blood pudding. Decades ago, some twisted government official decided this was the perfect health food for the children of northern Finland. Here at the Lona Tuota factory, they make nearly 500 pounds of this stuff a week. Need some help with that? No, oh, no. Okay. Oh. Making blood pudding is like making a huge sheet of delicious chocolate brownies. Instead of butter, you use rendered pig's fat. And instead of chocolate, you use blood. Hundreds of gallons of cow's blood from a local meat packing plant. These guys are so wild and crazy, and the mood here is so light and fun-filled. Tapio Helenin and Vesa Kontiokari have worked together here for 10 years. So you guys are so close, you don't really even need to talk to each other. You just know no, what the yeah, other guy yeah. is doing. This is, this is a routine. It's a, yeah. yeah. Blood pudding is served about once a month in schools in northern Finland these days. It's rich in iron and protein and gives kids a taste of what their parents suffered through in the cafeteria lunch line. What's the secret to a great blood pudding? The blood. The blood. That's a nice blood cake. This is more like a, a bloody spoon bread that has or the aftertaste of chowing down on an extremely fresh piece of organ meat. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Mmm. You can still find blood-based products all over Finland, from gas stations to corner stores that stock favorites, like packaged blood pancakes and sausage. Ah, the comforting foods of childhood. Blood is just one classical Finnish ingredient, but you can find them all near the old port of the capital city, Helsinki, in the Kopatori, or Market Square. For most of the year, it's a transit hub, offloading Finns and foreign tourists by the ferry full. But in summer, it's a magnet for Finland's freshest sun-kissed vegetables and fruits. Sweeter, yeah. better strawberry flavor, just absolutely takes your breath away. Thank you. Thanks to a wet, rainy spring, salt water breezes, and an intense summer filled with 22 hours a day of sun, and of course, there's fish. Sold by the families who make a living catching them along the coast. Like this woman, who's been puttering here every summer for the past 40 years to sell her home-cured herring, Finnish comfort food at its best. This just is spectacular, soft, delectable, not fishy in the least. And her salmon cakes are to die for. Oh my God. So is the salamiaki, black licorice made with copious amounts of ammonium chloride. Really like it? Love it, because it's not one note. If it, licorice is too sweet, it's just one note. Yeah. This is very sophisticated. I know, it's Finnish. Love these people. <laughs> they even make ice cream from the stuff. The secret to the inner beauty of the women of Finland. Salt licorice. 
The Finns I've met have warm hearts and wry senses of humor, lurking just beneath those strong, silent exteriors. These are magic beasts. That's why in Finland we have a very beautiful woman and very strong and handsome man. These are magic. And where are the, where do you find the handsome men? Example here. See what I mean? Just a short drive across town is the other popular Helsinki market, the Hokaniame Kupa Hall. Constructed in 1914, this was the working man's market. A one-stop shop housing shrimp, salmon, pickled herring, the works. Tarja Hiltonen has been working this fish counter for years. What should I try first? Yeah. She encourages me to try the lampreys, a bottom-dwelling cousin of the eel that uses a row of serrated teeth to bite and then suck the blood of its hosts. It's one of the most horrendous animals yeah. in the world. Yeah. There are only a handful of countries on Earth that eat lampreys, but they've somehow endured here, salt pickled and served whole. In Finland, if you are if you're a real man, you always start with the head. Deep breath. Deep breath. There's the head. Yeah, there is the head. With that tiny little sucker mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you take one bite of that head, and everything is fine, and then you mush down on the rubbery little mouth yeah. that's an indestructible yeah. <laughs> piece of God's creation. Yeah. And it is like, it's like biting a tiny little rubber eraser donut. Say, that was some good lamprey. <laughs> so now it's over. But her stock and trade is selling beautiful smoked salmon and a dozen varieties of herring, from the basic to bizarre. There is uh, some honey and tar. You know something, I love tar in my fish. That's delicious. Yeah. From the taste of it, you really meant tar, because that yeah. smells like something you scrape yeah. out of the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's good, it's smoky. Yeah, it is. Tar is a common seasoning in Finnish cooking. You can even buy it in a spray bottle. And this you can spritz on anything. Yeah. This even is fantastic. <laughs> even on me. Shh, shh. Uh, shh. It's one of my finer know? moments, a romance fueled by pickled herring and cured fish eggs. Nice Jewish boy from New York, loves smoked fish, lands in Finland, falls in love. Ah. <laughs> to me or the fish? To you. Oh. The fish? <laughs> the fish is not important at all. 